Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of November. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Now, I am reading for November, but you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this uh, video. We have the wolf at the heart of your reading, and the wolf can be you watching someone, or someone is watching you. Um, somebody somebody uh, could be uh, waiting, um, watching, waiting, holding back. Um, it could be that they feel somewhat threatened um, emotionally. Um, it could be um, that they are being very guarded. Um, there could be a need to be or, or they're feeling defensive about something or there's something they don't want to own up to because they clearly really want this opportunity. Um, this is somebody who's grieving over a loss and they want to get that person back. Now, uh, with the hangman being present here, it might involve a sacrifice. So uh, they could be weighing up the cost of, uh, of that and they're on the fence. Um, the emotions, the emotions here, in, because on this card, they're going down into the basement. Okay, so the basement here is where we allow our emotions, our habits, and our fears to get the best of us. So he may be feeling threatened by these deep uh, feelings, emotions maybe that were buried, uh, emotions uh, that were uh, hidden or that he thought he had dealt with uh, could resurface because the subconscious is here and he's feeling threatened. This, there is an opportunity here for this person, but they're sitting, uh, they're kind of sitting on it. They're holding back. They're in the 10 of wands energy and the high priestess. So they're, they're not talking. Um, so this could be an opportunity to reopen a uh, communication with somebody. Um, And they're, they're very burdened or they're very burdened by something. The Ten of Wands is here. Um, this could have been going on for quite some time with the Ten of Wands. It could be that they want this period to end, but they're missing information. And that's why they're remaining on the fence. They want a reunion. We have the King of Swords and the Hanged Man. We also have the Page of Wands in reverse here and the Five of Swords. So something ended badly in the past and it's not been forgotten. It is resurfacing. I think every time that this person thinks about um, an, another opportunity or, or jumping over that fence and taking that leap, that this or the emotions that are attached to the five of swords energy and the page uh, of wands in reverse resurface or reach out to grab them. Yeah. The hanged man is that pause and reflect. Um, how can I fix things? What would be the cost? What are the consequences? 
and you can see that he's very very thoughtful here in the um the king of swords is kind of leaning on his his hand um his sword is up he's guarded he also carries a dagger he's seeking clarity most likely for some pain he has suffered um so this is about a decision and he's thinking it through um what is the next best move here and he's trying to maintain logic or or take a logical approach but these emotions kind of resurface and um and it's like it holds him in his position now we do have the seven of swords here and it is in uh it is in the reverse so um it could be um that there's a need to get honest with someone uh, with with someone or with themselves actually um they could be avoiding a truth or denying something and it with this card it could be um a chain of lies where one lie led to another uh, and you know whether this was lies they were telling themselves or or whether they were telling somebody else but in either case um they forged the chains that bind them to their position okay uh, whether intentionally or not and now they wish to be free of them to be free of them I see that justice is here so they would have to come forth and speak a truth this is about getting honest with oneself or getting honest with someone about perhaps their circumstances about what is really at the root of what happened here there's a lesson in this to be sure and if they don't want to repeat that lesson in in this next cycle should they take that leap uh, then they need to get to the root to what's at the root what's in the basement what's causing this there's a lot of fears here um we have the nine of swords so that's fear anxiety even borderline terror you know just really afraid a lot of stress a lot of negative thoughts thinking overthinking um it can be extreme unhappiness feeling burdened and we know they are because ten of wands is here um and and it, it could be that somebody's at the breaking point they're tired of living this way they they recognize that something needs to change they want their happiness they want their happily ever after but their fears keep them pinned to their position but where do these fears come from and what is at the real root of these fears you know because this can go way back and so um it's mental anguish uh, there could be um it could be guilt or shame for something they've done maybe two of swords and the and back again with our king of swords he's reappearing here so trying to be logical about their decision and about I see the two of swords here it's nighttime and we see the moon clearly so this is about their fears um trying to be logic it's between the logic and the um and the subconscious fears here okay 
um, because of this subconscious here and because we see that it is nighttime and we have the moon in the background. So uh, that's what this is for this person. So, you know, um, the subconscious is here. Um, and, you know, this is the, uh, the belief system that's created and, uh, and stored here. It's what you see, hear, experience since birth. The subconscious is the, the part of the mind that notices things and remembers information when, when you're not actively trying to do so. And uh, you don't realize it, but it's influencing your behavior. Um, even though, yeah, even though you don't realize it, it does influence your behavior and can act as uh, triggers. So what this card is saying and why it is here, it's saying that your belief system or theirs is what's affecting this situation. And you need to look to the past. You have to go way back to where and when it first began. And this has to do with belonging. So when was the first time you felt that you didn't belong somewhere? Or that somebody made you feel like you didn't belong? That somebody made you feel like a stranger? Now, this, uh, I, I'm saying you, but it's whoever is whoever this person is, whoever this king is representing, whoever this wolf is representing, you or them needs to do this because uh, they are the one whose belief system is interfering um, in this relationship. And so belonging is that place uh, where, you know, you feel at home. Um, it could also indicate somebody ignoring you or giving you the cold shoulder and not talking. Um, it could be... Um, you need to go back and, and there's fears about relationships and where did those, you or they, okay? Where did those fears about uh, relationships and trust, especially, um, where did they begin? Where did these beliefs come from? That's what has to be addressed here. You were devoted, you or they actually, they were, whoever this person is, was devoted uh, to this other person. Perspective. Um, it's about gaining a new perspective on a situation. Um, there is illumination that is coming for this person and um, it's like they finally find the answers they've been seeking um, or it's like finally for them the pieces fall into place. There's a, a very strong uh, indication or need here uh, Spirit is saying to take action on this opportunity. Okay, um, now it is something that can change really quick or can happen really fast. Uh, the Two of Swords is repeating here again. There are fears, there's confusion over the return of the feelings and the balance uh, of the feelings. And they are scared to let their, their guard down currently. I feel this is what's going on currently. But I, I also feel with this card being here, yeah, see, there's, um, there's like an awakening, an illumination here about what was keeping them trapped with when it came to love, about the subconscious, about the subconscious triggers, about what was hidden there. 
um, they find their pieces, their answers through um, reflection. Yeah, fear with the devil. And I feel like it's something that kept them trapped. You see, there's we got a trap here. And they were trapped for quite some time. They came from a place uh, where there was little love or um, it's emotional lack. It's emotional. This is a card of... Uh, emotional poverty but they dream of having love um, and they're so afraid of what might fill these cups in the future and they're confused so um, possibly your person was uh, feeling unloved they may have a fear of relationships of uh, commitments We have here the owl so the owl lends uh, lends you eyes that you need in order to see in the dark around you well this is what's happening here uh, for this person the owl cuts through the shadows to illuminate the real truth that is what it's it's doing and is allowing this person to heal The sorrows of the body. Um, yeah, and so, um, I mean, this can go different ways with the owl, but we can see by the other cards in the reading which way it leads you. So, um, what I feel is it's reminding this person to be honest with themselves and to snap out of any lies they may have told themselves or denial um, it goes on to speak of um, how when you lie to yourself it, it's like the best way to remain lost in uh, a prison of your own making so um, and you know that brings you to the eight of swords or the nine of swords as we we do have it here um, the owl asks you to seek the truth in the darkest places within you it's what this person is doing and it is how the pieces fall into place it's how uh, it's how they escape or are able to escape from uh, this prison they're in. Now we know that there has been a string of lies. Uh, either I feel they've been lying to themselves about something, or about many things, even. And it's time to come out of denial to see the truth, because that's where their freedom is. And that is how they will heal and that is how this will heal because we see we see them coming forward we see that they escape the situation see there's the seven of swords here it is again and they are escaping it oh yeah look at that eh? temperance healing escaping this situation and a brand new beginning so unexpected uh, an, uh, an unexpected opportunity something of value comes out of this I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.